This is the greatest thing in the history of the NFL. Every game should be broadcast this way. Don't pass. Nice use of Jeff Simmons as the decoy there. Give all the attention, wide open for the touchdown back in the end zone to the tight end. It was a surprising halftime score, but now what everybody came to see at halftime, the dash on dash. After the game, this team makes no sense. How do you lose 26 to 3 to the Browns one week and then come back the next week and beat the Bengals 26 to 3? Now, granted, the Bengals do not look like the Bengals. The injuries, the lack of cohesion they've got going on offense just crippled them day. Like, we didn't really, you know, we had some good pressure. We got Joe Burrow a couple times, but realistically, we kind of just, you know, set back, just bend but don't break. Just kind of let them shoot themselves in the foot for the most part, and they did it pretty well. Uh, Jamar Chase, after the game, said, I'm always effing open. Like, so that doesn't sound like things are going too well behind the scenes in Cincinnati, so maybe one to watch. They may. I thought I keep waiting for them to turn around. It kind of felt like they maybe did Monday. But that, I saw his post-game comment, and I was like, wait a minute. This is – maybe there's more to meet – more to more than meets the eye here. I don't know. Offensively, Titans did a good job of fixing some of the things that were a problem last week. A uh, lot of shifts, a lot of motion, a lot of play action, a lot of stuff to change the point of attack to uh, slow down the pass rush a little bit. Got Chig more involved, got J Spears more involved. Just kind of honestly went back to old school Titans, just pounded the ball for the most part. Derek Henry finally got the workload. We've been, you know, it's so weird. We've been desperate to like to see the Titans become more of a modern offense, more of a passing offense, but now this season it seemed like, let's go back to what we're doing because this passing stuff isn't working that well. Let's just run the ball, pound the cl pound, pound the rock. It's been a long day. It was brutally hot at the game. I thought I wasn't going to make it. I thought I was going to go down at the game. But big day for Derek Henry. He becomes second all-time leading rusher in Titans franchise history, passing Earl Campbell behind only Eddie George. Got the dub. Next week, we go up to Indianapolis, so the zigzag continues. We'll probably get killed in that game. And then it's London, right around the corner. Crazy stuff's happening. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to check it all out. Subscribe to the channel with the bell turned on for notifications so you never miss anything. Have a great night. See you in the next one.